So I've been playing Wooden Raids for the last two days and I'm having a ton of fun. I guess people expected a tryhard player like me to main Dunjin. If you don't know what she does, she's basically a high damage ceiling 4 star that can basically perform like a limited 5 star DPS. Except Dunjin drains her own HP and can easily die. So you have to get good to not get hit if you want to profit off her damage. I'm free to play in this game and I especially recommend her for free to play players trying to get the most out of their account. If you aren't going to be regularly pulling a bunch of 5 stars, you might as well use the strongest 4 star right? If you find her hard, that's totally normal, you've just got to practice and you'll get better. Plus, as always with every gacha game, the first few patches are basically a resource management game. Level up resources are so tight, so if you're smart you only try to level a few characters and a hyper carry like dungeon seems like a perfect character to go all into since you can carry your team with lower invest supports. When I started the game I already said I wanted to be a dungeon main, I told my chat my plans and everything. She's a ray top on the limited banner but I was getting super unlucky throughout the day, basically only getting dupes of the starter character and random 4 star weapons and I wasn't gonna reroll. It wasn't until the end of day 1 as I was pulling for my novice banner guarantee that I got jump scared by dungeon not even from the limited banner and I then got Lin Yang after who I don't really care about but by that time I'm still happy so we take those. Besides his story quest was actually really really good. It's not just the combat though I really like Dungeon's design and her animations are great too. Lastly people have been asking about my thoughts on the game. Yeah there has been a bunch of scuff with localization, crashes, small bugs but to be completely honest the exploration is amazing and so too is the combat. I love the QTE system, dodging and parrying, it reminds me a lot of Honkai Impact 3rd. Lastly if people are interested I can make more content on this game like clearing the hardest content and tips I've learnt throughout the way so let me know if you like that.